Uh, this car is uh, the red, white, and blue Jackson Pollock tick. Uh, and the other name I have for it is called So Goes the Nation. Uh, it is inspired by the abstract expressionist artist Jackson Pollock who is known to throw uh, a paint onto canvas and basically use a variety of sticks, uh, you know, paint brushes, um, twigs, whatever you can find to throw paint on the car. A lot of entertainers have utilized the automobile as sort of an, uh, an expression of art or have had their own art cars. You know, John Lennon had a Rolls Royce, Janis Joplin had a, a painted Porsche. This is an old 70s model Dart, and basically uh, this one came from uh, Texas. It's a Texas car, so it doesn't have a lot of rust on it. And it was originally blue. During the late 1960s, really, that's when the art car you know, movement kind of took off. It's, it was something that was really associated with the hippie generation, uh, and they would you know, do these amazing paint jobs on their old Volkswagen Bugs or their VW buses. Serving as an educator, it's really a great way to uh, bring uh, education about the arts and popular culture uh, to the youth. I've had nothing but great response uh, from uh, uh, you know my neighbors and other folks around. Uh, the Northwest Ohio area uh, to this car and a number of the other cars uh, that I, I drive that are art car based. Now this is just sort of my deal. Uh, it's sort of my vision of creativity. It is a worldwide phenomenon. It's not just something that's limited to the United States. You find that art cars exist all over the world.